Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sammy here. I'm bringing you first look preview and potentially full let's play walkthrough of Daylight, a core game which is going to be released on 29th April. But hopefully, I'm gonna be able to upload this before 29th April, and um, you're gonna see actually what is this game about. And is actually worth I think nine bucks. I'm not sure because I did actually receive a review copy of this. So yeah, uh, with that being said, I don't really like horror games, but for the sake of um, I don't know this video, I'm gonna try my best here. And um, unfortunately, this this game doesn't uh, doesn't want to save my progress. So I'm gonna record as much as I can, and hopefully it's gonna be enough. But anyways, with that being said, we're gonna start this immediately without further ado. Hopefully, loading screen isn't going to be long as it was first time. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, let's get into game. <gasps> ah, good, you've arrived. Sarah, focus. We haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. <sighs> Where am I? It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Oh no. Uh, Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctor and Sight keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures. That push what we've come up with to date. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, Sarah, no matter where you go, there you are. What the fuck that means? Mid Island Penetrary Hires New Head Physician, February 5, 1907. Huh. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna read on loud all those um, notes which I found. And by the way, the chattering which you maybe could notice is because in top left corner we had like loading and basically whole area was loading was creating because from what I knew uh, no actually every time this area will be random so it's not gonna be the same always god that cow and well, that's friend, the tricky the thing life, about this game Date April 4, 1988, concerning patient 13, run. Oh god, this is gonna be fucking scary. <clears throat> well, hopefully I'm gonna survive at least one hour in this game. That's my goal, one hour. Use the light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Oh, we have some footsteps. But seems like that yeah that's actually our footsteps, so Oh god I didn't open that. Fuck March 4, 1988, patient 13, patient age 10 months old only, has been remated by her foster parents due to all the frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. What the fuck? Oh my god. No. Are we actually? <clears throat> are we actually exploring our? They were the flame, Sarah. Use it to your advantage. They will not harm you if you do. Okay. Why we have this? This is more scary now. With that red thingy. Um, February 24, 1959. Patient 12A. Dr. Raskins recommends removal of all possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Patient became violent during extraction. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. <clears throat> God, okay, this is this is creepy, and that is fucking loud. So I'm not gonna use that anymore. Hopefully. Oh god, Hello? this... What the 
fuck? That was a pistol. I think. I think that was a pistol. What the fuck? I saw something there. I saw something there, I'm pretty sure. It disappeared, Aldo. God. This is not gonna end well. I guess I need to be more brave and just run. History of Hell Kipling. The village of Hell. No, Hell Kipling. <laughs> <laughs> New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid 6 1600s. However, the rich fishing source along the easy access to trade routes draw early settlers to the village. Okay, so at least we know that this is a dead end. I'm kinda glad about that. Maybe I shouldn't run here, but. Fuck. I feel safer if you run. I can always escape. September 9, 1937. Patient 27C patient inexplicably died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue. Cremation scheduled for the ev evening. No kin to notify. Oh God. I'm gonna actually go here, try to make full circle, I believe. Nothing there. Hmm, apparently we can't. Dead end. Sweet! I like dead ends. The fuck is that place? I don't know, but it seems really freaking strange you can hear police sirens that's here actually need the key need the key huh we need the key explain me what kind of freaking key we need for this door that's weird okay run 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 I believe, yeah, we should go here. No, oh, that's dead end. Got to remember that it's dead end, so we can't go there. God, I can't see a thing. I can see. Oh. What the fuck? Seriously, now, now she's going. She came will give me like floors in this building. It's not enough that I need to deal with. Fucking God. This map is huge. Oh. I'm asking myself same thing. Okay, we found we found something. What was that? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Hopefully something will not <laughs> like jump behind that monitor that that would be fucking scary. Oh god. Okay. Well, this seems like that key. At least I think. Let's see, can we find some clues? Perhaps. Doesn't seem so. So I believe that we can leave this place for now. Can we? 
uh, August 13, for, uh, 1924, patient 60E. Holy fuck, how many patients they had here? Staff responded to screams coming from patient. Staff responded to screams. Fuck, coming from patient 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts and if she was not really trying to hurt herself, just make a giant mess. Patient 60E has been reminded to solitary confinement as a danger to herself and others. Dr. Mercer has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully he will be able to cure her of inner demons. Inner demons. Whatever you say. As long as they are inners, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay, we made a circle. So, since we made a circle, I guess that I'm gonna need to go on that, those fucking they stairs. The sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. Wait, what? One small fishing village, new captain blasphemed into a prosperous town full of figure and optimistic people. The town facing overpopulation and limited resources looked like the other options to sustain its people. He said something about bringing... What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, I got... That freaking bear. It began with infection, a black veil of sickness, disease and despair, sudden and swift. Wait, why am I wearing the bear? What oh my god. Hell? Don't do that to me, please. Can it be? No, fucking cannot be. I see you. I don't see anything. Oh, fuck, I don't see anything. Okay, all the way there. I was freaking around. I know run, run, there's run. somebody here. I don't know that, and I don't want to know that actually, so. Fuck off. Run there, run there. I can't see anything. Now I can barely see anything as well. Okay, our left. There is a door. Can we open this with this magic bear? Yes, we can. Holy fuck. We're making some progress. Saving content. Awesome. Do we now have a checkpoint?